Today I want us to talk about distributions and their relationship to chance. Now in order to consider this relationship to chance, instead of thinking of the data as things that have already happened, you need to think about them in terms of being potential outcomes. So for example, this could be the number of countries that are going to be newly formed in Africa next year. And there could be a total of eight scenarios that might happen, and in these scenarios different outcomes occur. So in scenario number one, zero countries get formed, and scenario number two, two countries get formed, and so on. So these haven't actually occurred yet, but we know they are potential outcomes. The cool thing is once we have a histogram, once we actually have a distribution of what these potential outcomes could be, we can ask some very interesting questions about them. For example, what's the chance that we see outcome mm, zero? This is kind of an interesting question and it takes distributions to a different spin. Now fortunately, this has an easy answer. So one way that you could do it is if you had the complete original data set, you could go ahead and you could count the number of times zero occurs and divide by the total number of times. But an easier way to do it, since we actually have the histogram here, is take the area at zero, so the area at zero, and divide by the total area, divide by the total area. So in this case, if each of these blocks had area 1, then it would be 1 divided by 8, which is the exact same as counting the number of times 0 occurs, uh, 1, uh, divided by the total number of times anything occurs, 8. Now, generally what's pretty nice about these histograms or these distributional charts is that the total area will be set to 0. So total area will generally just be set to 1. So the total area will just be set to one. And this is quite nice. So the only thing you need to do is you need to sum the area just at zero. And that itself will be the chance. Because if the total area is one, then each of these blocks will have weight uh, one eighth. So each being at one eighth on the y axis. We can do even more with this. We can also ask more complex questions. For example, what is the chance to see, let's think, something that is greater than three? This is a little bit more of a complex question, but we can answer this pretty easily. Again, you can look at the data and go ahead and count all the outcomes that are greater than three. Uh, one, two, three. Or you could go ahead and sum the area that's greater than three. So in this case, I draw a little line at the greater than three, and I could sum this area here. And this would give us a chance of three eighths. This is an interesting way to view distributions, especially when you're trying to view them as outcomes, and it will come quite in handy when we're doing bootstrapping.